One of the most frustrating things for patients is they'll have all of the allergy complaints and then they go and get tested by the allergist and then they're told you don't have allergies. You know, you had skin testing or blood testing and you're not allergic. It's actually not true. So in the, for the vast majority of those patients, they have what's referred to as LAR, local allergic rhinitis. What that means is that they have very intense allergies isolated to the membranes of their nose and sinus. It's a true allergic reaction to the tree or weed or grass or dander or mold, but it's not a systemic allergy, which means it will not show up on skin testing and it will not show up on blood testing. For patients in our office, when they have skin testing, we don't just look at the test results, we actually talk to the patient. What seasons, what types of exposures, what times of year tend to also produce significant allergic symptoms? And when we formulate the allergy drops, it includes what's positive on your skin testing. And even if the skin testing is negative, it can be formulated with what you know historically tends to produce your allergies. And it'll work exactly like um, allergy drops are supposed to work. It'll teach your immune system to develop antibodies. So the antibodies inside the nasal lining will block the allergic reaction from occurring. And over a period of time, essentially, you no longer have those allergy complaints during your seasons. I think it's really important for patients to know if you're one of those people that's been told you don't have allergies but you know you do, um, you know, you very likely have local allergic rhinitis and allergy drop therapy could be ideal for you.